Welcome to the Southeastern Oklahoma State University SONA Systems Tutorial. Please pause this tutorial to write down this link and open up a web browser. Once you have opened a web browser, go ahead and put this link in to bring you to the Southeastern SONA Systems homepage. should look like this. You are going to request an account and go ahead and start filling in the information with your name, your user ID, which can be anything. I'm using my first name initial with my full last name. And then for your email address, it can be either a personal email address or it could be your student email address. However, it needs to be an email address in which you check on a regular basis. Go ahead and take a minute to do that. Your student ID number is your Southeastern student ID number and a telephone number is for the administration of the SONA systems to get in contact with you if needed. So please go ahead and put that information in as well. And then at the bottom, you're going to want to make sure you choose the correct course. So I'll recommend you getting out your syllabi or your schedule to make sure you choose the correct course as well as the section to that course. These top five are Introduction to Psychology courses. So you're going to want to make sure you pick the correct section. For the sake of this tutorial, I am going to choose the W-2, which is the Introduction to Psychology online course for the Spring 2017 semester. So you notice I just clicked on it and it added it over here. If you choose the, correct, the incorrect course, you can simply click on it over here and it moves it back over to the available courses. And then request account. Your login information, this message up here, is telling you that your login information has been sent to the email in which you assign to your SONA account. So please pause the tutorial, take a minute to log in and retrieve your login information through your email. And once you have done so, you are going to come back to this page and log in. It may take just a minute for you to to get the email and it's going to be a weird email. I'm, I'm sorry, a weird password. So that's something that you're going to want to change to something that you can remember. And then you're going to simply log in. It's going to take you to this human subject and privacy policy notice. Please pause the tutorial and take a minute to read over this information and then you are going to simply hit yes that you agree and that you have read it. It's then going to take you to the pre-screen status. This pre-screen is going to be utilized to collect information on the participants in order to best select studies and activities that fit the participant. So please make sure that you answer these questions to the best of your knowledge and be honest. The answers are confidential. So you're going to start pre-screen and you're going to notice that there's six sections. Each section is will be done individually but at the bottom of each section there will be a record responses tab. You will want to make sure you click on that for each section that you complete. And then after you have completed all six sections, it's going to ask you to save the pre-screener responses. You are going to want to make sure you do that. So go ahead and pause the tutorial. And if you have the time, which will take maybe up to 30 minutes to complete the pre-screener, go ahead and take the time to do so. If not, you can come back at a later time and log into your SONA account to complete the pre-screener. 
it's important that you know that you will not be able to sign up for any studies or activities until your pre-screener has been completed. Make sure you save your pre-screener after you have completed all six sections. So go ahead and pause the tutorial and take a minute to do so. Once you have saved the pre-screener, you will come to a screen that looks like this. It says, the pre-screen is now complete and all responses have been saved. Please read the following information and use the link to continue using the site. So we're going to go ahead and continue. And it's going to bring you to your home page for Sona. And this is what your home page should look similar to. All of the information in this blue taskbar up here is all in the body of your home page. So it shows that since you have completed the pre-screener, you have your first five points. Congratulations. Over here it has how many you've earned, how many is pending, and how many points are required for you for your specific course. For this course, it's 20, some it may be 30, so you want to make sure you pay close attention to that. This green button will become your friend for Sona. This is what you want to come in and check on a weekly basis. This will show you any studies that are available at the time. Note that studies won't be uploaded to Sona for a, approximately two or three weeks after the semester has begun. I do recommend you log in, in weekly to see if there are any available studies that you can sign up for. So here it will give you the studies, it will give you information about the study, and it will also tell you the eligibility requirements to participate in the study. So you want to pay close attention to that. Your schedule and credits, it tells you what study you have completed, how many points you earned, if it was granted or not, and what course it is attached to. And then it also tells you a comment of what it was. So this, these five points were accredited for pre-screen credit for participation. Going back to the home screen, you can also change your password from here. I recommend that you go ahead and do so and you can do that through my profile. And this is where you will see all of the information that you provided when you started the account or requested your account. On this side of the home screen, your upcoming appointments, once you have signed up for activities and studies, this will serve as a calendar to help you stay and keep on track of the studies that you have signed up for. I recommend that you put the notifications in your smartphone. That way you are alerted um, and reminded of the studies you have signed up for. This completes the online tutorial for Southeastern Sona account request. If you have any questions, take note that at the bottom of your home screen, there is a Sona Help Desk email address, which is sonahelp at se.edu. If you have any questions or have any problems setting up an account, I recommend that you utilize that link to send the Help Desk any questions that you may have. I appreciate your time, and good luck this next semester. Thanks.